Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And first off, I just wanted to thank everyone for not only wishing my old ass a happy birthday, but for actually getting the channel to hit 10,000 subscribers too. It still seems crazy that back in January when we hit a thousand subs, I tweeted this, only for it to actually come true before the end of the year. Seriously, mind blown. Now following up on our Zoom tutorial last week brings us to this week's request. O's on Twitter asked, Hello bro, admire your work. Can you tell me how to do Zoom voice effect? Thanks, I sure can. Now guys, this effect is both easy and hard at the same time, depending on one thing how well you can do an impression of Zoom. In the show, Zoom is voiced by Tony Todd, most famous for his title role in the Candyman movies. The moment I heard Zoom speak, I recognized the voice. So the first part of this effect is trying to do your best impression of Zoom's voice, just like yours truly, right here. You only have to do one thing. Kill the Flash. Okay, now that we have our voice track recorded, let's head straight to Adobe Audition. So let's first play our original recording. You only have to do one thing. Kill the Flash. And now for the hard part. And by hard, I mean, well, super friggin' easy. Let's head up to Effects, Modulation, and click on Chorus. And all we have to do is click the drop down menu here and select Wavery Sing Along. And then let's turn those voices up to six. If we click the preview button here, let's have a listen. You only have to do one thing. You can hear that it both thickens the vocals and gives it a kind of vibration you feel by upping that voice count to 6. And that's it guys, in less than a minute you've taken your recorded vocals from this... You only have to do one thing. Kill. The Flash. To this... You only have to do one thing. Kill. The Flash. So that's my version of Zoom's voice. I know my Tony Todd impression could use a bit more work, but I guess my point with this episode is that you can't always put up a few filters or pitch your voice up or down to achieve a sound or voice you want. Sometimes it really does start with a good bass impression. A good example of this is a couple of subscribers asking me for a Ghostface tutorial. In all four Scream movies, the voice of Ghostface was played by actor Roger L. Jackson, regardless of who was behind the mask. They basically just said it was a filter the characters were using in the film for dramatic purposes. So what I'm saying is, if you want to do an impression of Ghostface, you firstly got to do an impression of Roger L. Jackson doing Ghostface. But that's my time guys, be sure to stay tuned as later in the week we'll have a second episode of Film Learning coming at you. And next week we'll have some exciting news regarding our 10,000 subscriber competition. So as always, if you enjoyed the video please like and share it. If you're new here, make friends with that subscriber guy. And for all my social media crap, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. Hey there I'm Ryan, until next time, keep on learning.